welcome to the Coach Kyle Show. Golazo! 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 This is why we are important uh, because we are not catering to what the what the world wants to see. We're not catering to what people's perception is. We're not catering to politics. We're catering to truth. We're catering to right. We're catering to, uh, to, to young people having their own identity and fulfilling purpose. Hi and welcome, welcome, giving you a chance to come in um, to get yourself organized. Welcome to the Coach Kayo Show. I'm here with your host, Kayo Dan McKinnon, alongside me, the great Wall of Med. Um, if you haven't done it as yet, it's a good opportunity to, to reach out to your, your teammate, reach out to your friends, um, reach out to whoever. Um, the, whoever is interested in soccer and, and, and information that leads um, to progression, information that leads to maximizing your potential, uh, this might be uh, a good opportunity. Nah, for sure. Like I said, um, sorry for the del delay because I know probably everybody was waiting for us to talk. I was but just waiting for people yeah, to come, come in. in so. That's fine. No, for sure. For sure. Hopefully everybody had a good week. You know, it was a long week with the holidays and everything coming in. And like I said, we want to thank you for everybody that's tuning in. Because, again, want to make sure you guys are settled because we're always ready to rock. Like I said, me and Coach Kyle, we always sit down talking about life. Like a lot of people might think it's just football. But like I said, life and football is pretty much correlate together every day, to be honest. In our lives every day, I feel like football and life is just playing hand in hand together. So. So awesome. So we got a we have a you know interesting topic. You know, we speak we speak a lot to things that are happening outside of the game, mm -hmm. outside of the field, actually. Um, because we truly believe that uh, a lot of what we see week in, week out is it's more of what is happening off the field, mm -hmm. more than what is happening on the field. Um on the field it's pretty much the implementation of what you would have prepared for. So if, if your preparation is not um, where it should be, or if your prep preparation, sorry, did not go the way you wanted it to go, it oftentimes um, shown the fail. You know, it might not be that you haven't given your best, or it, it might not be that you haven't um, covered as much base, uh, as you as you want to cover as much bases as you want to, but the reality is, if if your preparation is not well, you see um, the lack thereof on the field, and, and it's the same way we look at it when it comes to the holistic development. A lot of what we, a lot of what we don't see within um, the U development uh, structure is. And the attitude and the behavior of uh, of the athlete, of all the people involved 
in terms of this process. So we want to talk about uh, not playing to win, um, but hmm. playing not to lose. You might say, well, what, what, what does that mean? Well, the goal for us tonight is to make sure that you understand why, um, why maximizing your potential um, becomes so difficult within the environment um, you're in. Um, because when you're playing not to win, but more so playing not to lose, uh, is because uh, you you are not equipped with the tools that is needed uh, to succeed. So if you're in an environment like that, that is playing not to win, but the but is a a higher focus or a high intention to a uh, high attention to um, playing not to lose, uh, that environment uh, forces stagnation or encourages stagnation. So if you're wondering why, we'll try to unpack this thing and, and see if you can find any relevance or if it's connected to you in some way or the other that you might need to rid yourself um, of it so that you can truly uh, reach your goals. But before we jump into this topic, we wanna to give you a chance um, to uh, get some, some insight into the tactical aspect of the game. For some of you who don't get the chance to do it on the regular because of how the schedule is and, and, the, and the time um, and, and time constraints, uh, we just wanna share this, this, uh, this, this small clip with you to give you an idea of something you probably can use within your environment. We'll be right back. Stopping this pass, tucking in. This player coming here to make sure that the passes are not going through here, finding the six. Okay, we're marking in the space. Now, if we're able to intercept this ball, it's very important numbers. And you ask, why is eight moving into this position and not staying in like he did? Or she did. Because by doing this, if I intercept, it creates two V1s. Now I'm utilizing disorganization and the unbalancedness of the opposition. And in doing this, I'm forcing this, this defender to make a decision to stay or to come. Yes, and welcome back to the Coach Kaya Show. Hopefully that was helpful. Helpful that that was actually transition to attack. Uh, when you're in defense, it's very important to be ready to attack. So the spaces that you uh, that you control um, in in the defensive function of the game, you must be able to also utilize that space um, to attack. So it's very um, it's very important to, to understand that you don't just defend and focus on defending, but you focus on defending so there's an outcome, and the outcome is for you to attack and, and create chances and score goals. So hopefully, um, if, you, if you have a chance to look at that again, especially if you play high up the field, that might be something that you probably would be interested in, in knowing. Um, and if you if you know it before, then repetition is good. No, it's good. So it, it's it's not here or there. Um, but diving into this topic, it's very important to understand. Um, John Maxwell said that if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. So you know, I was part of of of. Um, environment and situations where there is so much um, attention to keeping the parents, keeping the parents happy. You know, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of hours spent on making sure that, you know, your communication and, and all these things, which, which is an important aspect in leadership the ability to communicate correctly 
Um, you know, people oftentimes say, oh, well, like communication is, you know, it's, it's talking and writing. Um, I beg to differ. Communication has to do a lot with listening. Um, so if, if you're just talking all the time, you're not really communicating. So, you know, it kind of, it kind of it's kind of confusing when somebody says you need to communicate a lot with the parents when the parents not saying nothing you know and you, 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 yeah, <laughs> for the most part, part. You, you are always trying to say something and and it's mm-hmm. it's a, it's it's um it's why we're talking about this topic because a lot of focus is a lot a lot of attention is given to this aspect within within the developmental environment and one of the reasons why that happened, even though we don't spend little or no time with the parents, oftentimes parents, you know, they have other things to do. Um, they want to get the kids into activities because they, they feel it, it stimulates the mind and mm-hmm. it's for other health reasons Definitely. and everything else. So parents pretty much come and entrust their, their, their kids in the hands of um, in the hands of the club, in the hands of the coach, you know. So, but there's there's so much attention paid to this, um, and we know that's why when we when we start off by saying it's not you're playing not to win, but more so you're playing not to lose, because if you didn't understand what we meant, is you're not doing all the things. Because the time that is spent on the development of the player and, and raising the player's awareness and how we do that day to day, five minutes of the meeting is given to that. But 55 minutes of the meeting, we discuss, you know, all the professional things that needs to keep uh, the resources in there because we know you know players don't players don't pay to play parents pay so it's, it's very important that we cater to the parents and 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 you have to uh, you have to make sure that the parents understand what is happening and and and, and all the other things uh, but th- there's such an attention there because the focus is more there uh, rather than the players. And that's just my story, okay? You know, some people might have different stories. Some people might say um, that don't happen. Fair enough. Uh, but my encounters and, and and many coaches that I know, trainers slash trainers, that I know, uh, there's, there's, such, uh, there's such a demand to make sure that you know, the parents are happy and, and the parents are comfortable. And like I said, don't get me wrong, that is an important aspect because they're entrusting their athletes with you, um, with the organization, with the coach. But the problem is why there's not the same energy and the attention to the people that we actually are there for. And if we're not doing that, then are we playing to win? Are we playing not to lose that player? Let me let me let me jump in. I'm gonna jump in for the second part. We're playing yeah. not to lose the player. For again, from my experience, speaking from my experience only, and we have many experiences. That's why we're we're, we're saying what we're saying. It's not it's not just the data that we have from ourselves. We go out. We we, we speak to a lot of people daily about just the life. And life of a coach or a life of a of a, a organization, and we understand the 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 basics. And the basic we talk about business is to to make sure a certain amount of money coming in, a yeah. certain amount of resources coming in, and we understand that. But like Coach Kyle said, why aren't those details and why aren't we giving that same attention to the athletes? And we understand it's the they understand again the norm. People don't. It takes longer to really help these kids to win. We understand that it takes it takes a certain level of patience, time to get these athletes to where they need to be. But nobody, nobody, and for the most part, most of these parents and, and the athletes don't want that time. 
Mm-hmm. So we're what we we're focusing on is not to lose an athlete. And how we do that, we give them the experience. We give them everything they want. If they don't want to come to practice, okay, you can go. You want to come to game, you come to game. Everything's everything's focused on you as 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 a parent getting what you want. Yeah, that's the real truth. That is that's why I said it's it's you know the goal here is to for you to understand um, how how difficult it is for you to truly maximize your potential if the focus is more about not losing. <laughs> and we're not talking about losing the game. Nah, that's, <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. Because uh, when we get a bit deeper into this podcast, you know, you'll you'll better understand. But environment like this is not catering for you, the athlete, to win. And then it's not about the result of the game. It's what you want to achieve over a period of time. Mm-hmm. You know, we want, to, we want to take this time to shout out all the people who are listening now on live. Um, keep sharing um, yes. as much as possible. Um, get more young people in well, here from right. near and far. Because, you know, these things just don't happen by mistake. I know oftentimes, you know, we lose the message just because of the messenger, <laughs> but it but it's it's okay, you know. Everybody have a time. Everybody got a season. Everybody have their purpose, mm-hmm. and we believe like this is not this is not a, just a show, but when you are constantly as as a person, when you're constantly uh, put in situations where you you are not given the same freedom and the same opportunities to succeed when you believe that you go day in, day out with this level of honesty to the craft, this level of honesty to what you do. Like nobody can know that and they're not supposed to know that because say your right hand shouldn't know what your left hand uh, would have done. Uh, But you know, and the creator knows the level of honesty that is put in. And you see um, young people struggling uh, with some of their ideas and some of uh, some of their behaviors and some of their thinking. And they, they use, they, they speak highly mm-hmm. about wanting to be at the highest level, mm-hmm. wanting to, they, they're under this assumption that, you know, what they would have done a travel and what they would have done at high school, it will <laughs> it will take them all the way. Oh, and it's God. it's it's such God. you know it's such a deep belief in mm-hmm. them. It's honest. But belief alone don't get you there. You know, it's it's being conscious and being aware of the things that you are doing, the things that you're supposed to be doing. You know, you the, the things that you're doing now, it's not necessarily things that you need to do to get there. There's always a next step. And when you're in an environment, when you're in an environment that is not catering for what you desire and where you want to be, then they are more focused on not losing rather than focusing on you winning. But that's the whole reason why you did. What about they believe they they are doing that because they don't know, and we've seen it. What about they are, do believe that they are getting what they're supposed to be getting? The athletes, yes. Well, because like anything else, you're responsible for raising the child that has been gifted to you. Okay. Okay. You can do nothing really special. This child was created for what. It was created to do. Okay. Your job is to facilitate that. Now, if this child have a desire, right? Let's say to be a musician. Okay. And in your head, this child is a doctor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, this child is dependent solely on you for guidance because this child trusts you. Mm-hmm. Okay. No matter what. This child trusts you. You could you could discipline the child, they will, they will return. Like if nothing happened. So this innocence of a child um, is given to you. 
Okay. So what you do with it, you create, you downloading data and information that will govern the behavior of this child. So even though this child have a desire to do this, they believe what you are doing is helping them to become what they want to become. But you're really helping them to become a doctor. But they don't know that. You understand? Yeah. Because they have a desire to be this. They they are, they are put in a position where they have to trust you. Okay. Because you have the last say or you have the final say. You don't have the last say. You have the final say. <laughs> As a parent, you will say you're not or you are. Uh -huh. Or the trainer will say, this is what you need to do. This is what you don't need to do. Now, it's the integrity of the individual who is involved to do the right thing. But to what you're saying, a child will believe, a player will believe if, if this thing is repeating itself over and over and over and over again. Now, the only thing could tell you that you're not getting anywhere is when you're exposed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. That's the only time yeah. you will come into contact with what is real until you're exposed. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing something for mm -hmm. five years mm -hmm. and then you hear something for the first time that you've never heard, and that make you get really scared, or that make you want to turn back to the very thing mm -hmm. that have not mm -hmm. gotten you where you want to get to at this point, then when you don't know that you don't know, they oftentimes say it's foolish. So a child will believe whatever environment they're in is the best environment for what they want. And oftentimes it could come because there's a lack of knowledge. Um, there's a lack of understanding. Um, there's a lack of know-how. So it's the integrity and the honesty and the purpose-driven attitude of the people who are given this responsibility for the athlete to win, to not focus on not losing the athlete, but being honest with the process for the athlete to win. And this is this is why we're bringing this to light because it's, we can't say it's every single person but our encounters and our discussions with athletes, we would have seen this, this consistency where sure. players are telling you they want to be here. <laughs> but, you know, the things that they're doing, their behavior. Yeah, it's not. You know. It's, it's, how, match up. it's not matching up. Like, <laughs> yeah. when you've played at that level, when you've, you know, You've been in situations mm -hmm. that you, you know, knowledge is given to you and you had to even change your mind and yes. change some of your ideas and change how you do things, change how you, how you raise the awareness and the consciousness of the athletes, you know, from a higher level. You know, it's, it's difficult for you to look at this, this, this athlete and say, well, <laughs> you know, you're doing the right thing. Should be. I can't tell you you're doing the wrong things. It's just to create an idea in your head for you to be able to reason to see okay. what I've what I've done and where am I where am I now? And if I continue to do the same the same things, if I continue to do the same mm -hmm. things, then how do I expect my results to change based on where I'm standing? Yeah, you, you again. You're saying all this. Yes, and I agree with you. But what our environment of youth football, especially, and we're gonna say where we at. We're from New Jersey, so based on where we at in Jersey, it's mm -hmm. a lot of people are doing the same thing, Kyle. So me as a young child, even though I might, I feel it like yo, whatever I've done, it's not working. And somebody has been honest with you to tell you the truth, mm -hmm. and then you, and then you look around and say, everybody's doing the same thing though. So, so how do I say you 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 make sense? Why would I say you make sense? Everybody's doing the same thing. Because 
I guess truth, yeah. truth is something that people, you know, will decide for themselves. Okay, fair enough. You know, it's the the truth must be must rest on the individual on what this process entails. So not because I said something, it means that I am right. Fair. But it must be proven. Do you understand? Yeah. So if you say you want to be a professional player, you as an athlete have to ask yourself, am I close to that or not? Mm -hmm. And you have to be able to say how you know you're close to that. You have to be able to articulate that. If I ask you a question, you say, well, Lawal, how was your session today? You say it was good. How do you know it was good? Scored a lot um, of goals. Scored a lot of goals. Yeah. How were you able to score those goals? Well, I was. <laughs> so it's no. Yes, you could. You. It's easy for everybody. <laughs> Let me say this: everybody's right in their own eyes. But we're here for a purpose, and we we here with desires. And oftentimes. If you keep believing the things that you believe in, but there's no change in your behavior, there's no change in your position, then if you claim to be true, it's because it's already downloaded in your system and you're stuck with that. And you make a great point. You know, why would they say that we are speaking the truth? Yeah. They have no reason. And we're not saying that we are speaking the truth. We're saying that we're speaking from an honest place based on us. If it connects with you and, it, and it's a common ground between what we're saying and what you're going through and what you're dealing with, mm -hmm. then it's an opportunity for you to change. Fair enough. Fair enough. So we are not... I cannot say what I am saying is true because that that means I know everything, and 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 that is impossible. It's to what we share on this podcast is to connect with the athletes or the people that might be faced with these situations and 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 are not clear about why, you know. Things are mm -hmm. happening the way it's happening. Mm -hmm. Why they're not progressing. This might be a way. It's now for you to go back and look at the situation and see if, there's, if it's congruent with what this discussion yeah. is bringing forth. And then you've got to now charter your way forward or make the right steps so that you can accomplish. So we're saying this exists because we have encountered it with varying programs where they make the excuses of, you know, these kids are just here to have fun. <laughs> <Can they serious? laughs> but then come Sunday, Everybody says, Wait. come Sunday, it's about the winning. <laughs> it's about the results. Yeah. So how, how do we connect those two things? Mm -hmm. How do we connect those two things? How do we connect these kids are here for fun, but on Sunday, it's the abuse, it's the disrespect, it's the cussing of the referees. They had to put a rule in that you can't even mm -hmm. talk to the referees now. Yeah, that's seriously. Even referees who are there only on Sunday. They have a job Monday mm -hmm. to Saturday, and then they come Sunday mm -hmm. because they're helping out. They, they've been a presence there to keep keep some uh, <laughs> level of control or something, they are faced with the most abuse. He, he don't know what is half size. He, <laughs> well, again, <laughs> how is it? You said, you asked the question. <laughs> so how those two things connect? They would never, they would never, Kyle. So yeah. when we look at that, you know, it, it tells us that there's, there's a bit of disconnect between the environment and what um, most athletes are going through. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think that no child plays the game 
to fail. But we know that every single person will not make it, but it's not my decision to choose who will or who will not. It's like somebody deciding that I'm not good enough to lead because of whatever they want to define me by. How is that fair? How is that? Do you know what is inside of me? Do you know the passion or, or the, the discipline or the sacrifices? And do you know those things? Like, how do you just look at me and make a decision? It's like we, we were reading something today and, and a man who never read a book, he was making a decision about what is in the book <laughs> without reading the book. He just saw one, he saw one page. Yeah. And in that one page, he decided that this whole book represented something that, you know, based on that one page. But he refused to read the book. And that's like so many people. They look at one thing, they see one thing, but always remember this. What you know, and necessarily who I am. Do you understand? Because what you know is past. <laughs> what you know is past. It's not necessarily who I am today. We'll be right back after this short break. Coyote, McKinnon and Company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon and Company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Coyote Show. You with your host, Coyote McKinnon, alongside me, the great Wall Med. We want to thank you again for coming in and yes. spending this time with us. Yes, yes. Um, please do share in this live. Um, we're, we're, we're speaking to um, this, you know, having the desire, having the desire not to win. There's a great focus and not losing, you know. And you might wonder, like, what does that mean? You know, the goal for us is to let you understand why you might not uh, be able, why you might not um, be feeling or going through this process feeling like you're maximizing your potentials or optimizing your performances um, because you know the environment in which you're in uh, while there might be some amount of focus on you uh, the focus is not to lose you <laughs> in the sun and, and think about that for a second Simple. right yeah, yeah. when you when you refuse to lose somebody then you would never make them free and to be successful, you have to be free. Mm -hmm. If I want to hold on in you, then I don't allow you uh, to grow. I don't allow you to be a sub. They say, if you're a leader and you're leading so that you stay on top, then you're not leading. You're a boss. If you're a leader, you want to create a better leader than yourself you want one day that this person supersede you so when you when there's a tension not to lose you that mentality in itself 
forces people to compromise with behavior that might not be that it's not necessarily good for your growth. It's very important to understand that. It's not good for your growth. When people start compromising mm -hmm. with behaviors that is not consistent with changing of behaviors and getting you to your best self, then self-awareness go out the door. Self-discipline go out the door. So this is why we, you know, we we stressing that there's many many environment. If you pay close attention, um, the focus is not for it's the focus is not to win. And let me remind you, winning is not results. It's not always results. It's what you want to accomplish over a period of time. Do you understand? But there's a there's a there's a deep focus. I would say there's a hundred percent focus <laughs> on not losing yeah. players once they come in. hundred percent. I I give it a hundred percent. I give it a hundred percent. I give it ninety five. There's like at least five percent. I give it ninety five. You give it ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think some some areas they they, they focus a little bit more on the players. I give it up. You know what I'm saying they focus, they focus, they focus. There's a focus to players because you have to do something. Yeah, okay. You can't just do nothing. But so when it comes to this side of the this side of the fence of not losing the player, there's a hundred percent focus on that. The efforts <laughs> that will be made to keep a player in a in a program is not the same effort to mm. make sure that the player is performing to stay in that program. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that, it's a that, difficult that's place. Funny, yeah. And it's not saying that there's not um, they don't have people out there, but some people's hands are tied. <laughs> you understand? It's yeah. a system, right? Yeah, it's a system. Some people like, you know, we just can't we can't go forward with this player. Uh you know, let's try to make it work. <laughs> so, so you make up a team. You gotta, you gotta make it up. <laughs> yeah. So again, is this player benefiting from this? No. Or it are you the club, the club, the coach benefiting from this? And if you are benefiting from it, then the process is done with. Mm. The process is done right there. Because as a coach, you are not there for you. <laughs> You're not there for you. If you are there for you, then development cannot happen. Because you are the focus. Your program is the focus. Maintaining the kids in the program is the focus. While they need to be some amount of, uh, of, of, of um, some amount of attitude there to make sure that the players stay and, and, and benefit, I want to use that word, benefit from the program in terms of their development, there is more, there is a bigger desire to just don't lose this resource. But they they might say that the kids are benefiting because I mean we created another another team for the you know say the the lower mm -hmm. level players so we we feel like the kids are benefiting because they're still in our environment but you know there's they're they're playing their games they're 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 learning but maybe it's not maybe it's not geared to a hundred percent of what we we know the kids should be getting so you 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 saying they we create a team so they learn yeah okay yeah if you honest with yourself. Are you giving this child the best options to be successful? John Maxwell said, in this <laughs> business, right, Okay. you have to get to the point before they start asking, what is the point? <laughs> I'll say that again. Okay. You have to get to the point before they start asking, what is the point? So I flipped that. Many programs will get to the point. They will get to the point. What is the point? 
This is your playing time. These are the tournaments you're going to be playing in. These are the leagues you're going to be playing in. Mm -hmm. More importantly, we have connections. We can get you here, there, and everywhere. You see what is first? Okay, yeah, they got to it. <laughs> see, you see what is first, right? Yeah, yeah. Get, so <laughs> what questions can be asked? Are the parents going to ask about why are we playing these tournaments? You know, what is the developmental plan for my athlete? How are you going to measure it? Where should this player be at the end of this time? Where's the IDPs for him, for her? The parents would not ask the question mm -hmm. because, unfortunately, they, you know, like I said, they're there to give, in most cases, to the best that they can mm -hmm. for the athlete. So by making the point, now there's no room for the questions that actually speaks to the winning of the child or the development of the athlete. You know what I'm saying, right? Okay. So they got to the point before questions could be asked about what the point is, especially <laughs> if you don't know what the point is. And the point is the status quo. Yeah. It's established. It's a million kids. We go play all over. Yeah. It, it's good. You know, you're going to get, you're going to get seen. You, all of these things, the point is made. They don't even care. Does the coach have the qualification and the competency to develop this child for what this child said he or she wants? That's not even a question. You know, he plays, you know, he did, she that. So then what's the importance of UA for A and what's the importance of a pro license? What is the important? Let's say Pep say he don't need no license. Let's say Pep say I play for Barcelona. I don't need no license. I don't need to go do my pro life. Let's say Conte say, you know what? I'm a big Italian player. I play for years. I don't have to do no license. You know, I see Conte at the workshop the other day with the Celis. Yes. Trying to be in front learning. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So, but these are the coaches. We sit down and look at these strategies and write down on paper. Where, how did they get to that level? How they got to that level without learning? Without developing their games, developing the idea of the game. That's why we tune in because we see good football, we see good soccer. Let's say a club say the same thing. I don't need no license. Mm -hmm. I just, I know the game. I play. I got enough friends that I could go watch them coach and I will learn to coach. Mm -hmm. I could go watch my friend do some exercises mm -hmm. and boom. I could bring it back to my environment and it looked good. And yeah, that was an awesome exercise. You know, what if, what if, but these questions are not asked because the point, we get straight to the point. And we get to the point because we know it speaks to a certain, a, a certain people. And once they hear that message, mm -hmm. they're ready to jump in. So it's, they, that message is, is, is given a all. Because it's more important not to lose what is coming in. But, but when did when do we realize? Because it's going to get to a point, and it's already getting to a point. So these are the athletes that we we end up speaking to. When would the parent or the parent starts realizing, like, hey, this this really don't look like development. This child is not getting better. I don't think parents ever get to that realization. Serious? No, because. Like you said, you start off by saying, I want you to go back to that point. <laughs> okay. If everybody's saying the same thing, oh, yeah. That's facts. what give them, what give you or <laughs> me the right to say something different for somebody to believe? Because remember now, it takes, we go right back to the podcast we did with comfort zone. It takes you out to your comfort zone because what we're seeing is no longer in harmony with the image that you have in your head or what you've been taught. It's, it, you might say, well, they should. No. Mm -hmm. It's like having a mindset of four, being taught something for 400, to 400 years. Yes. And in 50 years, you think all the 400 years <laughs> can be wiped out? No. No. So if somebody believes that this is what it is, especially when there's money involved, why should they? So again, it's not yeah, about it's right. us trying to, to be right. It's 
It's about, is this a common ground that you, the athlete, you, the parents, can connect with and say, well, this is happening. And we don't know where to go. We don't don't know where to turn. I mean, just let's just let's just do what we can and, and, and get the best out of the situation. But I'm saying if the focus is truly on the athletes to win and not to lose the athlete, then we will produce much more than we're producing. Would that be a fair? That, would that, that be a fair statement? That is fair. That is fair. And I, like I said, I want you, I want you to go back to your point. What? Because a lot do leave. A lot of, of athletes do leave their clubs or whatever for, for for a certain reason. And if you can think of the reason, is it because most likely the kid is not playing, or they find a better kid to to take that kid's spot, and then people tend to move away because they're not just playing. Like I said, the, the message, the, the the point that was given. Uh, when you say get to the point before they start asking what the point is, yes, that is that is what is being said. You will get this amount of playing time. You will go here. You will mm, go there. Okay. Okay. So okay. if I if I come on that idea, and I didn't come on the idea of what the developmental process is, mm. and part of that process is to compete with your peers, yeah, yeah, then yeah, the yeah, moment yeah. I don't yeah. get the playing time that I want, okay. what do you think I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna, be, I'm I'm gonna yeah. move down the road even though the environment is conducive for your development, for what you want long-term, you will go with the short-term because this is what you're being told. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah, you are not, yeah. I remember, if you get the point, you're not going to ask the what point, the point yeah. is. So the point is clear because the idea is more to not lose the athlete to lose than, for, than to let the athlete win mm. it's very important okay. okay because most people cannot show you an objective data of they say they're developing they say they're developing right but there's nothing there you could say okay a player come to you right you said i want to do training serious thing i want to do training and the dad or the mom will say you know we, we think he, he needs to shoot a lot more okay all right <laughs> Shoot from where? From the right side, the left side, from the central area, in the box. Where are you shooting from? You know, when you get close, okay. Is left foot? Is right foot? What is happening? How many shots did this this kid? How many shots he had in the league? I uh, think about how you're gonna. No, that's that's not nothing for me to help the player with. You have to be able to say. This player had 20 shots. All 20 was with his right foot. He only had, and none was on target. Mm -hmm. So now we could start talking. Yeah. 20 shots, none on target. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now I could now I could assess the situation. How many parents mm -hmm. are able to come and do that? None. 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 Because again, if you're not doing that. How will the player know that they're progressing? From a word of mouth, from an eye test. And it's difficult because coaches got three, four teams. Yeah, and that but that's the information they're bringing you. Most of the parents will probably bring you information and say, oh, Coach Guy, okay, we got the evaluation. They said Billy needs to work more on his shooting. Yeah. But from what you're saying, we're not getting that on the paper about shooting where from shooting. where is he shooting? Do you want to be yeah. shooting from the middle of the field? He, ju he just said they just they need to work on shooting. I, this is this is my <laughs> point. <laughs> so I don't... We're not saying that. Yeah, we're not saying that you're wrong. You're right to do what you're doing. We're saying is, if you're focusing on this player being successful, you're not just going to write an evaluation. It needs to be something that the player can be connected with that he knows, that he can see, that it's something to back it up. Because if if I don't see it, then are you just sending me away to fix something that wasn't even said to me three, in three months, but it's being said to me at the end of the three months, now comes to you for private mm -hmm. session in the summer because nothing happens in the summer with this club or she. So the coach said, you know, I, I, I haven't been, 
haven't been <laughs> crossing the ball up. Like, why? How many crosses you have? <laughs> so these are some of the things where I feel like That's the focus see, yeah. is not on the child yes. winning. Because if you could produce that, mm -hmm. then the child has something clearly they can work on. They have clear goals. Mm -hmm. Now I had 20 crosses. Can I get 10 good crosses next season? Mm -hmm. But what, how would they know they progress? You just said they're not good at crossing the ball. See, playing to win is being intentional. You have to be intentional. Playing not to lose is having a fixed mindset. And again, we're not talking about the game. We're not talking about literally playing the game and getting results. Nah. We're talking about the environment. When, you, when you're not playing to lose, you have a fixed mindset. So there's, there's certain things that you have to follow. Like communication, make sure you communicate and send out the emails on time. Da, 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 da. You know, make sure you're talking to the parents. Go shake up your hands. There, there is a <laughs> what you would say. What, you, what do you say? There's a template yeah, but, for a better oh, word. Yeah, yeah. Or there is a mm -hmm. uh, guidelines, really. there's yeah. guidelines there. I like it. I like it. There's <laughs> guidelines there <laughs> to make sure that the player come back. Come back. Let's have a meeting with the player. If there's a problem, get all these things. Mm -hmm. When it relates mm -hmm. to the player winning, mm -hmm. you know, and the player being successful, the same attention is not given. How many times did you heard about the meeting? We have to release this player because he's not performing. How many times have you had that meeting? Zero. In all the coaching you Zero. We just find another team, man. There's no, there's no need, there's for, no that. need for that. Yeah. Because it's not about the child it's real getting talk. serious. Yeah, it's real doing talk. what they need to do. Mm. It's about not losing. And good point. Just move them to the next team. team. Yeah. Just move yeah. them to the next situation. You understand? But they're staying within. They're staying within. Yeah, they don't, they don't. I think it's sad because you got kids who honestly believe that one day it will happen for them. But if you keep doing the same things like everybody would have done before you, why would you think the results will change? Mm -hmm. You know? Nothing will grow with a fixed mindset. You know, I want to be a better coach. When you want to do, if you want to be, if you want to be good at something, you have to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. You have to leave your comfort zone. You have to leave what you're accustomed to a lot of times. You know, when I wanted to get better, I would drive all the way down to Virginia. You know, Paul Shaw, uh, I went to workshops at Manchester United. I've been to talent I scouting, talent ID for national youth players, and you know. When Chris Armas was at Red Bulls, I would I would get the opportunity to go and be with the first team and watch, look and see how preparation works, how reflection goes, you know, how to how you did. You have to you have to want to be in there. It's not to be in there and say, well, okay, I I know. No. It's about you you can't stay in yourself and say, well, this is what I do and I'm gonna get it one day. No. You have to. You have to come out of that because if you keep doing the same thing and you're not you're not connecting yourself to people who can make you uncomfortable to recognize some of the things you have to do better, then you're not getting better because you're in a fixed mindset. Most people say it's a waste of time. What are you doing that for? No matter what license you get, you're not going to get nothing <laughs> because there's, 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 a, there's a fixed mindset yeah, yeah, yeah. about... People that look like me, we're not supposed to be in certain situations. Now, I could stay there. I could stay there. And people, a lot of times people will be happy with you when you stay there because That's it. they are there too. They're there. They're crabbing the barrel. Bro. You understand? Seriously. But none of us, none of us, we're not winning anyway. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> but they don't want to lose because if I do all of this and God put me in a situation, then... Oh my, wow. So that fixed mindset of, well, you know, this is what everybody doing, so I have to do it. 
it stops you from truly maximizing yourself. It's important for you to win. It's important for all of you to win. You were born to win. Exactly. You know, it's more important to win in life rather than to get a result in a game. Because you could play, you could play the worst game and get a result. You could get a good result. You could play really, really well and don't get a result. So it's all about what message did you get from that experience? Did you become a better person? Did you become a worse person? So, but because people are playing not to lose, they have created a fixed mindset in you also that it will stop you from growing. And you could never win when you're in a fixed position. You could never make a step forward if you stand still. I think what? <laughs> are they willing? Are they willing? Are they willing to move forward? That's a question. That's a serious for question. Them, you know, I already answered the question for me. Yeah, are, are people willing to to move forward? Because if I'm very comfortable in my my mindset, if I'm very comfortable with what's going on, would I ever even knowing? Because like I said, a lot of people know things that are going on. It's not it's not the right way. They yeah. know. They know because the kids are not. We'll see more. Like you said, we'll see more high level football we'll see it all the time we'll see kids get into the national team from all over if it was like that but we know we know the statistics we work with numbers yeah <laughs> so is it, again like, like we're not saying that you guys are wrong <laughs> we're right <laughs> we're not saying that you are not doing it the right way we're speaking because there's somebody listening that shares this common ground mm -hmm. that is connected to this and maybe don't understand why. So don't be don't be mad with us. Like <laughs> we're not saying that we're not, we're not saying that your club is a mess. We're not saying that you guys are not doing nothing. We're saying we're speaking to a people. We're speaking to an audience. It's like when I go read, just like when I go listen to something. It might not matter to nobody else, but I share common ground with that thing, and that thing helps me to elevate myself, my yeah. idea, my thinking. So don't, don't come here <laughs> and, and and make it look like we think we are right in all ways and everybody else is wrong. No, okay, the message is please. We are just <laughs> we are just speaking from our perspective, and hopefully, we're able to reach. A group of people who might need to hear this. No. They might also need to hear your message. So we're not here trying to be right. We're just here trying to be honest. I hope this podcast was helpful. Yes. And hopefully that players and, and parents get a bit more insight of some of the things that you will you are dealing with, some of the things you have dealt with and some of the things you might be dealing with in the future so that you're more prepared and more equipped uh, to give your athlete the best opportunity, mm -hmm. the best opportunity to be successful. Wherever that is, it's, it's for you to be equipped with the information that you can make the right decisions and give a child the opportunity to one day to be on the highest stage. We need more we need we more do, players we do. Um, to be at that <laughs> stage so that the game can grow in a meaningful way. Thanks for being with us on the Coach Kayo show. Um, don't forget to share. You yes. know, information is above or information Always. is below. Reach out, reach out. Um, any concerns, any questions, anything. We are a resource here um, and we will make ourselves always available uh, for those that want to maximize their potential. Stay blessed and have a good evening. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun. So why not name it Rec?
An elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.